Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vietnam and today we're looking at the origin from OXAO. They say it's a powerful all-in-one pod system that takes a single 18650 battery, fires up to 40 watts, it's powerful, compact and long-lasting. That's what OXVA said. Let's see if it rings true. Let's do this! <laughs> So I just received this little beast. Crack it open, let's have a look. And then uh, it's playtime. Oh, I like how it opens. Sure. Nice bit of display here. Yes, that is a word. I've just made it. So I intend to this just because it looks a bit cool. It's very light. Warranty card. Tension card. Manual. Micro USB charger, spare coil. Time to play, time to review. Let's go. First of all, although OXVA is a new company, it's not from a new designer. The CEO of OXVA, I struggle to say that, is Justin Lay, L A I. Justin Lay. He designed pretty much every aspect of this very device. You might recognise his name, but you probably won't. If you do, it's because he's the designer of the Aegis and Zeus lines by Geekvape. So I figured we'd take a little tour on this video and make sure we don't miss anything. First of all, I'll tell you it's got a removable drip tip. Without the drip tip, it measures 113.5 mil tall, 119 with it. It's 32.8 wide, and on the thickest part, it's 23.5 millimeters thick. Without the 18650 battery, it weighs a very light 70 grams. Now, apparently, there's lots of people that have been having a problem with the pod systems, pods falling out of the pods, how we take it out of pockets and stuff. So just to put the pod inside the device. Only way to get to it is by removing the shell. Now, I don't know if you can see it, it's got a very little lip on the edge. So if you remove it out, let's have a look. Then it just slides out and twists out quite nicely. And then you just pull it out. Now, if you didn't notice, I've just used the shell casing for that because I haven't got any nails. But it is nice for a system to give you a nice lip to get it out. That might have been an accidental design, but I like it. Now, this pod's got a 2mm capacitor because I'm TPD, but the pods do come in 3mm as well for you non TPD areas. Sorry about the banging. Now, it's technically got an adjustable airflow. If you look at this little pot here, I've took a picture, so I'll bounce it on the screen at some point now. But this little bit of the coil doesn't actually belong to the coil. It screws on and off to the coil, not to the pod. Now, if you see there, that slit, and we can turn it and turn the airflow on and off. That's the adjustable airflow. Kind of pissed me off a little bit. So it is important to remember if you do have one of these, to take that off before you throw the coil. Or you won't be able to use the system. You don't have to take the pod out to refill it because the refill hole is just here. There's currently four coils available for the system. 0.3 and 0.5 ohm come with the kit, but there's also a 1 ohm and an RBA coil as well. You might have also noticed when I was showing you a side, it's got an 18650 battery that is interchangeable. This is good, Harley likes interchangeable battery. It has got a pull cord so you can easily take your batteries out and it's held on by two little batteries. Beautiful. 
So now if we take a look down the front of the device, you'll find it's got a micro USB port. That charges at 2 amp, which is nice and fast. It's also got a button here. Have we got the right way up? No, wrong way. This button just goes up in wattage. So as you keep pressing it, it'll just go up, 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 up. Then when it gets to max wattage, it'll go down. Now, the max wattage of this device is 40. It goes from 5 watt to 40 watt in the increments of 1 watt. Um, and with the 0.3 ohm coil, it did let me go up to 40 watts. But I've currently got the 0.5 ohm coil in, so it only lets me go up to 25, which is the max recommended maximum wattage for that coil. Which is quite handy, you can't accidentally turn it up in your pocket and burn your coil out. I like this. It's also worth noticing that if you hold the button on, it automatically runs up too. And then if you carry on looking towards the top of the device, there's a fire button. It's not auto draw, it didn't have an auto draw option, it's just straight on for the button. Now if you look at the last side of the device, it's got the airflow holes. Always make sure you put your coil in that way, because you don't want your airflow facing the back. Although I don't think it makes much difference. It's also got a seeing hole, so you can see how much uh, liquid capacity you've got. It's also stacked with a lot of features that devices usually have, like overtime protection, short circuit protection, over discharge protection, and over charge protection. It comes in five colours. We'll bang them on screen at some point now. It's got red and black, brilliant black, muzzle green, silver aura, and black carbon fibre. Let's get on with my opinions. My first impressions of the kit were, mm, seriously, I didn't quite know what to make of it. Uh, I mean, look at the shape. It's just a very strange shape. It's a bit like a razor clamp, but it really reminded me of something. And I can't think what. I still can't think what now. Some we old people. I can remember in my uh, great granddad's house, and something like this reminded me. I can't think what. It's probably an harmonica or a glasses case. Probably a glasses case. I know it's not quite wide enough for a glasses case, but that kind of shape. Tit for tat, I also think the C hole could do a bit, a bit bigger. You can still see the uh, airflow, you can still see the liquid level, but I'd like it to be a bit bigger just so it's a bit easier. You do have to kind of proper look. Now there's lots of people online saying it's a game changer, saying it's amazing. I failed to see that, all I can see is another pod mod with an interchangeable battery, which most pod mods do have at least one version which has an interchangeable battery. Now, all over the internet, people are saying it's a game changer and it's amazing. Honestly, I'm struggling to see that. To me, it's just another um, pod mod. It's got an interchangeable battery, yeah, but most pod mods do, and if it don't, it has got an ancestor that's got interchangeable batteries. The variable air flow is very different, but I don't like it. The threads aren't best. When I changed it the other day, I was kind of struggling to get them nice and clean on. It's a little bit faffer. And if every coil I'd want to touch, then I'd like it. But the current setup, I think it's a bit faffer. And it runs the risk of where the threads are, cross threading it. You know, I mean, it's just one more thing that can go wrong. And I don't think it's that fail safe not to go wrong. And they say the reason the pod's on the inside is to stop it from falling out and being annoying. But don't forget, I own a shop. I sell lots of pods in the shop. Not one person's ever gone back and gone, it's great, but the pod always falls out. No one's ever had that complaint. Uh, I've never known anyone online, so that it, it just seems like a fake thing that's been made up. <clears throat> now, like I said, I'm a massive fan of interchangeable batteries. If it, something ain't got an interchangeable battery, it puts me off straight away. I've been using this with 2,500 milliamp power and it's lasting very nicely. I can't really complain about battery power, it is pretty darn good. Think about it, you're only using it for 30, 40 watts. It has got an awesome vapor production. I don't think it's got the best flavour production though. There's other pods, like last week's review, that were awesome. 
This isn't bad. I've had moments where it's been really good. I've had moments where there's barely any flavour. I can't really knock it for flavour, but I don't think it's the best flavour. Overall, I just don't think it's as good as everyone's making it out to be. But like I said, the vape production is pretty good. Just bear in mind, I'm probably being a little bit pedantic. It is only a 40 watt system. And with that in mind, the flavour production is quite well. Like I said, in regards to all pod mods, it's not really my favourite um, for flavour. I'm still having pretty much mixed feelings how I feel about the flavour. Because like I said, sometimes you get a really good flavour. And other times I've sent to not get as much of a flavour. And I'm not saying it's a bad system. It's certainly not the worst. But I also think it's definitely not the best either. So I want to describe it. I think it's pretty much a standard pod mod. Uh, it's definitely not a game changer in my eyes. It's worth having. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't say no if you're going to give me one. But. I would I buy another? I don't think I would you know. I think there is better pod mods on the market. Um, but I suppose there, there will be people who disagree with me. I know that there will be a few people that prefer this to the one that I reviewed last week. But for me, I, I prefer the other one. Sorry, guys. Now, the acute review all know last week's review was the Vapresso Target RPM 80. That's my favourite pod mod, uh, I think, at the minute. And it's now time for its giveaway. The winner is Adam Smith, as chosen by commentpicker.com. So thank Comment Picker and congratulations, Adam Smith. For your chance to win this little beast, all you have to do is comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, and we'll draw a winner next week. Thanks for watching, guys. If you, got, if you like this uh, style of reviewing rather than stuff I've done before, let me know in the description. Uh, good looking competition. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the bell. Comment down below to let me know what you think. If you do comment but you don't want to win, just put it in the comment that you don't want to win. Thank you all so much. I hope you're all staying safe. Uh, come and visit me on Thursday for my weekly lockdown live where we'll do quizzes, giveaway merch, blah blah blah. And don't forget, uh, as well as staying safe, don't forget, as well as staying safe, you also need to stay cloudy. That wasn't good enough for it. Let's do it again. Stay cloudy!